Good morning, everybody. My name is Gabby. I am here with Virgil. This is his first week with us here at Gordon Train at Best Paul Forward. And what I am working on with him today is a little bit of leash. So the main reason why I am working with him specifically on leash is one of the things he is here for is a little bit of polite greeting. So being able to appropriately say hi to people on leash so making sure that he is able to walk on leash without pulling is very important. So that is why we are working on that today. Good boy. He is paying great attention to me right now. Now, the harness that we have on him, we have a harness that has a front clip and a back clip. When we work on leash with the dogs here, we're going to use that front clip harness to make sure that we are helping and preventing some of that pulling, okay? When you have it on the front, it helps a little bit with that pulling. When you have it on the back, sometimes they do pull a little bit more. Now, we use back clip for recall, front clip for leash, okay? A couple of things I wanna note before I start walking. We use the words, let's go, to let him know we are moving forward. We use the word stop, to have him stop and come back to us before we continue moving forward if he gets to the end of that leash. And we use the word turn when we are changing direction. The most important thing, good boy, is that when we are working on leash, we are making sure that we are not continuing to move forward if our dog is pulling. If we continue to move forward, our dog is going to learn that that is how they get where they want to go. And we want to make sure that that is not what happens. And that they learn that they can get where they want to go by walking nicely. Now, we will have them either on the left or the right side of us. It does not matter which. You just want to make sure that you are figuring that out at the beginning of the session and you are keeping your dog either on that left or on that right so that they're not crisscrossing in front of you or crisscrossing behind you during the walk. Okay? So when you start, you want to start in the low distraction area or inside the barn. You're going to walk short distances back and forth, only about 10 to 30 feet back and forth in the beginning, making sure that our dog's not pulling ahead. Now again, if our dog does pull ahead, we're gonna have them stop, come back to us. If our dog keeps bouncing back and forth on the leash, what we can also do is we can actually have our dog, turn our dog around, change direction, get their attention back onto us, and then once we have that attention back, we're gonna turn back around and walk in the original direction we were going. Again, very important, we are not continuing to move forward in that direction that our dog wants to go when they are pulling, okay? So we're gonna do a little bit of the walking now. So in the beginning, turn. Yes, good boy. In the beginning, we're gonna be giving that reinforcement frequently. Let's go. Uh -uh. Yes. Good. Good job. Let's go. Yes. Good. Turn. Good. Good job. Turn. Let's go. Good boy. Turn. And again, only walking short distance. Turn. 
Very nice. Good. Turn. Good boy. Very nice. So again, starting off walking back and short, forth, short distances inside in low distraction. As he starts to get better with this, then we're going to start moving outside and making it a little bit more challenging. But again, main reason with him why we are working on this is to help with those meet and greets on leash so that he is not pulling ahead. Good boy. So he's not pulling ahead when he goes to say hi. Okay, you guys have any questions? Let us know and we will see you next time.